Yo, I'm Beetlesuit, and Seuss means sweet in German, so it makes perfect sense. Today, Sherry's gonna show you how to make over 30 last-minute Halloween costumes using items that you may already have around the house. So let's get to it, and, uh, I don't know, somebody stop me! This is Confessions of a Refashionista. So before we jump into the costumes, I just want to say welcome to Confessions of a Refashionista. I'm a Refashionista Sherry, and if you're new here, I share how to live affordably and sustainably because why? Being eco-friendly shouldn't cost the earth. If you've been with me for a while, thank you so much. I do so appreciate your continued support. And as always, please do subscribe, throw a like, leave a comment, let me know what kind of eco-friendly tips, tricks, and tutorials you are interested in having me share with you. And now let's dive right into the costume. So clearly, first up has to be my beetle sous costume here and this is so easy to put together if you have any kind of black and white clothing that's all you need you know i literally happen to have a black and white skirt these black and white tights a white shirt this is just a scarf and a little black and white cropped blazer so the outfit is done what is next well of course the makeup is the most important and to achieve this look i am not at all any kind of professional makeup artist whatsoever or even like a makeup aficionado none no none of that and i can do this so literally anybody can do this all you have to do is get that white pancake makeup, you know, that people put on their face to be a clown at Halloween or a zombie or a ghost, what have you. Put it all over your face, seal it all with a bunch of powder. In my case, I just had this kind of old, um, what is it, highlighter powder lying around and that's what I used to set it and I mean, it came out great. Next, of course, you want to do your eyes and your lips and eyebrows, everything else. And that is easily achieved just with what makeup you already have on hand. You know, some black eyeliner. Uh, if you have any kind of purples, blacks, or grays eyeshadow, just kind of chuck it all on there. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You are being an undead creature after all. <laughs> and then... For the lips, this is simply blue eyeliner, a couple of different shades of blue eyeliner, and then I topped it off with some purple lipstick that I just happen to have for, I literally have no idea why I have it, but I have it, and that's it. That's the main makeup. Next comes the fun part, adding your, you know, deathly moss here. Chuck on some wonderful, non-toxic, washable, kid-safe school glue. That's all you need. And you put a little bit on your face and then some craft moss. If you don't have craft moss, you can literally go outside and just kind of pick up some bits of dried out grass, leaves, crush them all up together and stick those to your face. Now, because the glue is washable and non-toxic, it's totally safe to put over top of the makeup. It is very easy to remove when you're all done. And I mean, you can see here on my face, it's a uh, it's not going anywhere, which is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> now, most of us have some kind of a black outfit in our closet, be it a skirt and a top, a dress, uh, trousers and a top. So, you know, throw that on and you're kind of an instant witch or warlock, super duper easy. Or take that same outfit and add like a doily or piece of white lace around the neckline throw on some kind of a ghostly looking makeup. If you have long hair, put it in braids or pigtails. If you're wearing a dress, add some knee socks and you are a ghostly Victorian or Edwardian type of uh, creepy child. <laughs> Non-toxic school glue plus tissue or toilet paper make awesome scars, brains, 
just whatever kind of grossness that you want to add to your face, to your arms, what have you. All you have to do is mix up that school glue plus your thin tissue paper or toilet paper until it's kind of a, you know, podgy, squadgy mess. Then put it wherever it is that you want to have your scars or burns or wounds and let it set and dry. Once dry, simply add on some of your normal skin tone makeup. Plus, of course, you can throw on some purple eyeshadow, black eyeshadow, yellow eyeshadow, make it all bruised looking around, and the piece de resistance, of course, is fake blood, which can easily be made using syrup and red food coloring. <laughs> It is so simple to transform yourself or someone else or the two of you into adorable leopards. All you need is an eyeliner and some brown eyeshadow to create your groovy leopard spots. And then of course your clothing. Throw on a leopard print blouse, a ear headband, and you're laughing. Now, all of these tutorials that I'm mentioning I shall link down below. They are, of course, all available in my Halloween index over on my site, but the link will be conveniently down below for you. I also have two very, very easy DIY yarn wigs so you can transform yourself into an adorable rag doll or a sweet scarecrow. If you're looking for a super quick and easy yet somewhat tastelessly funny <laughs> costume for two, then it's easy enough to create a um, poop hat <laughs> and go as poo and pee, which as I said, it is tasteless, but come on, it's also rather hilarious at the same time. <laughs> so one person just needs to wear all yellow. The other person, of course, is going to wear brown and this uh, rather quirky little, you know, dookie hat here, which all I did to create this was take a brown pair of tights, stuff them, and then stitch them onto a toque. That's it. And I mean, it was super simple to make. And I mean, it was good. <laughs> it's just, I, okay, no words. <laughs> so now let's move on to your favorite film and TV character costumes. These are, again, pretty simple to put together, especially if you are just being a character from a film or TV show that, you know, kind of wears normal clothes. You probably already have something in your closet. Like if you want to be Molly Ringwald from the 1980s or Pretty in Pink, pretty darn easy to throw something together there. Just need something pink, really, right? Or what about, let's say, more 80s? I mean, you can kind of tell I'm a Gen Xer from all the kind of 80s references that we're going to be having right now. <laughs> However, the, it is still awesome, right? And it's kind of vintage and cool then, right? Please? Yes? Right? Okay. <laughs> so... You can also be Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Like, so, so simply, all you have to do is have a checkered shirt and, of course, the rather iconic orange puffer vest. And, of course, if you have a dog, that does help the costume. I even went a little bit further and did put some socks down the front of my jeans for authenticity. <laughs> Now, moving on, you can also be a character such as Desperately Seeking Susan, one of those lovely ladies. And again, all of these tutorials are available over on my site for how I quickly put together these looks using items that I already had in my stash or in my closet or I quickly found at the thrift store or discount shops. If you enjoy the show Friends, why not go as your favorite friend? And if you actually have enough friends, you could all pick a character and do a group costume that way. Casey Becker from the beginning of the very first Scream movie is another one that is rather simple to put together. You just need to have your old style telephone handset. 
a beige or cream colored sweater, jeans, and of course those iconic bangs. And again, over on my site, I do have the tutorial for how to create faux bangs when you do not have a bang in sight. And here's another one that, of course, my fellow Gen Xers are going to remember. It is a Doctor Who, and of course, it is Tom Baker as Doctor Who with that absolutely phenomenal super long scarf. So, of course, all you need there is kind of a trench coat, a hat, and that super long scarf. <laughs> There are, of course, times when there is just simply too many characters in a show that could deserve some costume homage love. For example, Tiger King. I mean, that was one of my favorite celeb copycats to do. It was so much fun to, you know, put put together all of those different looks. And again, all of those were put together from items I already had in my closet. Super duper easy. And for the makeup, 99% of the time, you can throw a mustache on, do whatever kind of makeup, using the bits you already have in your makeup stash. And, you know, just a, just a squidge of imagination. Another great example are my Stranger Things character copycat looks. Now, again, those, of course, I didn't have exact copies of those outfits, but I did manage to put items together that were pretty darn similar. And, of course, for my Scoops Ahoy look, that was really nothing really like the actual uniforms, so I made myself like the manageress of the Scoop Subway <laughs> shop, and it all came together really, really nicely. That is actually one of my favorite copycat series that I ever did. It was loads of fun to put those together. So, I mean, again, these are all great examples to show that you don't need to have really any money at all to put together awesome costumes and awesome looks from items that you already have in your house, plus just using the makeup that you already have as well. And I mean, come on, a little bit of school glue and tissue, fantastic. Or a little bit of school glue and some moss definitely goes a long way. Like, come on, this has lasted through this whole video shoot and it's not uh, gonna go anywhere. And I mean, I can eat, I can drink, I can do whatever. And this is gonna stick until I carefully peel it off and then gently remove my makeup. I have so many spooktacular Halloween upcycles and DIYs over on my site in my upcycle Halloween index. And I mean, everything is over there from costumes to decor to ideas for trick or treating. I mean, you name it, it is there linked down below. And uh, yeah, for everything else, you know, head on over to uh, refashionistasherry.com because of course you can do everything you want over there and find my hundreds of free tutorials, sign up for my awesome e-course, grab my super cheap, super wonderful e-books, shop in my closet, have me make something just for you with a refashionista box. And um, yeah, this Halloween, Please stay, stay, one, two, three. So this Halloween, please stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. Whoa!